everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Real Time Training. I'm your host, Paul Turner, and today is our first Get It First promotional video. Um, for I've been doing a, for those of you that are on the newsletter, you know this, but I've been doing a Get It First newsletter where subscribers receive uh, resources that I have developed uh, for my own youth group or for other people's youth groups, and then I pass those on to them and they get it first. Well, this is our first promotion of the newsletter video style, so I can be able to show just a little bit. I'm not going to show everything because obviously that would spoil it for the Get It First people, uh, but I'll talk about, about the some of the resources that are going to be in the next issue of Get It First, and I think I have five or six resources that are coming in this one. I think it's going to go out on Monday, uh, so if you're not a subscriber, you want to go to thedisciplesproject.net, and you want to sign up for the Get It First newsletter, and Monday or Tuesday, um, you're going to receive some links where you can download these resources that are going to be uh, for you guys. Um, one of the things that I'm not going to do is I'm not going to post everything on my website and, and then send it out and do all this. I am going to put little features, maybe put a little tool here or there um, that are going to be on the site. But for the most part, uh, all the resources I uh, create and collect are going to be going to those that are going to be subscribers because um, you guys that are on the uh, list are just super people. Uh, and so we appreciate your time and your effort to give me a chance to minister to you uh, with these free resources. So I want to be uh, faithful to you guys. And so if you want the resources, just go to the discipleproject.net and you can sign up there. So let me talk a little bit about the resources that we're going to have coming Monday, out, Monday or Tuesday. Um, one of those resources is a game I created um, called Dice Spice. And Dice Spice, I can't tell you everything about it, obviously, because then it's just, it's so simple. It's such a simple game. And it gets people moving and active and, and all those things. In fact, I'm going to uh, be having a little contest with this that if to our uh, Get It First group, and you're going to get that as part of the newsletter, um, that if you videotape this game being done with your group, and it is, the, it is either the funniest or you think it's the funniest, you can uh, mail me a link to it have me watch it, and I'll be giving away some free stuff for that, possibly a free book and some other things. So uh, one resource you're going to get is Dice Spice, and um, you want to get this because this is going to be uh, transferable to all kinds of things, and it's going to be super simple, easy. You can just, it's just so simple, it's ridiculous, and, and God was faithful enough just to inspire me to come up with it. So um, another thing I'm going to give you in this is I'm going to give you some altar cards. You know, many times we're in the... Um, uh, you know, we're at the end of service and we really don't know how to close it or we need something um, significant or something tangible that kids can really lock on to. Um, I'm going to give you a PDF um, with some resources on it, uh, which talks about giving our whole life. And kids struggle with all the different things. They struggle with, um, you know, how, you know, they use their eyes, what they're watching, what they're listening to, what their, uh, what their heart is, where their heart is, you know, where, what their mouths are saying. And so we have just a real quick, I'll give you a quick peek here of just some some of the resources, these are just a little PDF card that has uh, that already PDF'd out for you. You don't have to do anything. That's the that's the glory of it. Um, these are just some altar response cards. I'll I'll share a little bit about. You just put them out. You pay, cut them, and you put them out, and kids get to respond um, how accordingly, according to do that. And it'll be in the newsletter on a few ways that you can use that. Um, a couple other things that I'm going to uh, show you here is, um, or at least tell you about, because I don't think I can show you just yet. Is uh, I have two youth ministry lessons. Um, one is a full, complete lesson, and one is just a PowerPoint, but both of those you can use in various settings. Um, the first one is called We Are All Artists, and that is a full lesson, start to finish, regular midweek, Sunday night youth program that you can do with an opening, closing, and all the things that go along with that, and that's going to be in there, um, and it's called We Are All Artists, um, The Art of Discipleship, and it's really the focus is on um, kids discipling other kids, reaching out to their friends, going to the next level, the next step, beyond just salvation. Um, the second one I'm going to give you is called 13 Ways to Love Like Jesus, and that's from 1 Corinthians 13. It preaches itself. It, there's no lesson per se to it, but it's simply a PowerPoint that you can build your lesson around. And if you want to do that, I put out all the major points, and it's something, a very quick thing, especially uh, during Valentine's. Um, this would be a good time to do a message like that. That's why I spoke mine this past week, but also I just want to throw in there that Dice Spice has Valentine value to it. So you want to get that because it's going to be a fun game that you can play. Um, and then um, the last thing that you're going to get in there, I say that until I put something bonus or extra in there, uh, but the last thing you're going to get in there is uh, 18 Reasons to be Generous. And it is a talk, and I don't think I have the, the actual, oh, maybe I do. 
um, as a talk I just did, a Sunday school lesson. It's a small group thing. It's called 18 Reasons to be Generous. And it was based on a news story uh, that came out uh, about a week or so ago where um, the, uh, a pastor was uh, in a restaurant. And um, I have the little, uh, little thing here where they... Um, where they, where they, t they wrote on there uh, the fact that they, they, they wrote the pastor wrote on there. I give God eight, ten percent. Why should I give you eighteen percent? And that really sparked a discussion in my own heart that said, well, why not give eighteen percent? Why not be generous? And so it's just a simple um, discussion that I go through uh, some just key questions you can ask with your kids. Uh, for a little quick 15-minute discussion, you may do it as part of your midweek or a small group or Sunday school, and it's just something I've discussed with them to talk about um, 18 ways to be generous. And, of course, I took that from the 18%, which is a standard uh, group or group meal uh, tip that you should give your waiter or waitress, and this pastor did not want to do that. And so I tried to talk to our kids and say, look, we as believers should be better. If nothing else, we should be great tippers because we're, we should be great givers. So... Um, those are the major things right now. The two other things that I'm going to be coming out with very, very soon is I have two more playlists that I'm going to be doing. And it, you know what, guys? It's just me. I just have varied amounts of interest. I have varied amount of passions. And I can't just, I don't, I try to separate them all and, and I'm trying to put them in order to benefit those of you who really want to um, grow in that area of your life. Uh, one is, is going to be, it's called Off the Shelf. And that playlist is going to be about reviews. Of books and youth ministry resources, stuff that I use, stuff that other people use. Um, it'll be interviews with authors. If you've not seen the interview that I had with Clay Morgan, author of Undead, uh, which is a fantastic book which deals with the six resurrections of, uh, of people in the Bible. And it's called Undead, Revived, Resuscitated, and Reborn. It's a fantastic book. Catch the interview. The link is right there. You can hit that and go see the interview if you'd like. It's on my YouTube channel. Or you can go visit his. And I'm probably that's the one I'm going to put right here. So go visit his. It's at claywrites.com. And he's a great author, great guy, super duper. You'll love the interview. And then hopefully you'll buy the book because it's a great book. And, it'll, and that leads me to the next playlist that I'm going to create. It's called That'll Preach. Maybe you've heard that phrase before. You see something and it inspires you. It gives you uh, um, things to think about. You go, man, that'll preach. I need to preach that. That that needs to be a message. That needs to be something. And, and um, the big part of that, of that playlist is going to be, I'm going to be doing uh, illustrations. Using illustrations and using very common things um, to, to inspire you to say, look, how can I make my message and communicate in a more visual manner? Not just a matter of, you know, PowerPoint, that's one thing. Um, you know, videos, that's another thing. But how to use those illustrations that are up front, they're in your hands, they become reminders and they become uh, a part of the, you know, it's just like Jesus saying, consider the lilies. You know, it's just like him pointing and saying, look at the skies, you know, what color are the skies? That tells us, you know, when rain is coming or when harvest is here, or any of those things. So these illustrations are simple ways. They'll be short, probably five minutes or seven, five to seven minutes to give you some uh, seed for your message um, that you may be looking for, or something that may complement a message you already have, and it'll help you out there. So be on the lookout for those two playlists. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's it for today. I, I think that's five or six resources you're going to get in the next Get It First newsletter, which will be on Monday or Tuesday. You'll receive it. If you're not a subscriber, go to the discipleproject.net uh, now and subscribe. And that way you'll get the resources. They, I, I don't uh, bother you all the time. I only it, it gets in your inbox when I feel like I have enough resources to give you. So you'll get five or six resources at a time. And uh, it'll be a benefit to you and your youth ministry. And I hope that you'll sign up. And don't forget on this YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe because if you don't know uh, when these things are posted, you won't be able to tap into things like Off the Shelf, which will be the reviews and, and resources and youth ministry tools and who else is using this. And, you know, we always need that. And then the second thing is that'll preach. And that'll be seed uh, for your messages that you can check in, watch the, uh, the messages there, and hopefully it'll inspire you in your messages and inspire you to pray and seek God uh, for your own messages and how to integrate it into what God is showing you for your youth ministry. So... Thank you for hanging out uh, with me today, and thank you for listening to this little promo for the Get It First newsletter. I hope you're going to go sign up, and I will see you next time, uh, probably sometime next week, with a few more videos to show you uh, premiering on my YouTube channel. So thank you for coming by, and we look forward to seeing you real soon. Thanks.